How's it going, you guys? Fucking, you might be able to tell, but I, I'm sicker than a dog. I don't have the flu. Excuse me. No one in my house or anything has got the flu just yet. We all have a cold. I have a cold. My wife has a cold. Our son has a cold. My wife's brother's got a cold. Motherfucker. Someone about cut off in front of me about hit my front end. Stupid drivers today, man. But I've, I took, I drank some Theraflu. Uh, I took a non-drowsy allergy pill. Took uh, some ibuprofen. My body's aching. Oh! And then I'm taking some, uh, you know, some knockoff Dayquil to work. Try and get me through the night. Because, honestly, I, I feel like crap. But I got bills to pay just like everybody else in this world. And I'm going to go to work. And I'm going to work as much as I possibly can. But if I get too bad, man, last night, I, I got super dizzy. I've been dizzy all day. And, like, barely able to stand and walk and just function. I don't know why I've been so dizzy. I'm dizzy now. I was dizzy last night. I was dizzy the night before. Where I, I like, literally was about to just sit down. And I was like, I can't. I can't do it. But the shirt ain't dirty. It's been washed. It's just stained from work. Um, one guy at work, he has a hairline fracture, I guess, in his middle finger. So they have me covering for him. Uh, of course, it's not what I want to do, but uh, especially being sick and everything. But like I told you in my other video, it doesn't matter where you go. If you're employed by that company, they tell you to do it, you do it. That's what I've been doing. They want me to hub, I'm gonna go hub. But, uh, that's my job, you know what I mean? People will sit there and moan and groan, and, you know, you tell them to go somewhere else, and that's not where they usually are, and everything, and they fit and fuss. And be like, well, I don't feel good. I'm, I'm just gonna go home. Because you put them somewhere else. It is what it is, dude. I don't, I don't know if y'all seen my previous video. It was uploaded a while back. Before I started. But it was the last, the first video I made in the car. Um, back a while ago, uh, and uh, I told y'all I always feel like in life, I, I've always thought of it myself, this is how I've always looked at it, learn as much as you possibly can, because even though you might not need it, or whatever, you might someday, and especially if you work for a company, all you gotta do is learn as much as you possibly can because that makes you more valuable to the company. And especially if you take it down the road somewhere else or something like that, the more you know, the more valuable of a person you are, the more of an asset you are. I know one, two, three, four, Five. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna count. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, seven things in my job. Seven different things. Um, I might not be like certified or anything like that, but I mean, in all of it, but I do know it. Um, they just gotta give me the test and then I get certified in it. And it's uh, that's how it wasn't my last job, like. Man, I could, if we had something go wrong with one of our products, I could, by how it felt, I could tell you exactly what was wrong with it, how to take it apart, put it back together, and it would pass. Uh, I mean, you get devoted to something, and they just pick it up. I've always been, oh, sorry. Like I said, I'm not a hundred percent but uh I know for sure though <clears throat> I've always picked up on things pretty quick for the most part so it's mostly just I want to learn as much as I possibly can that way I can pass as much knowledge down to my kids as possible I'm never going to say I'm perfect at anything, but if I know a little bit here and there, it goes a long way in the world. So, like, just like computers and shit like that. I know a little bit of video editing. I know a little bit of photo editing. I know a little bit of networking, a little bit of, I did game design a little bit, um, I know a little bit of programming, not a lot, but I'm sure I could figure out a basic sentence, and like, um, I know a little bit here and a little bit there. And that's why I'm always down to learn something new because I feel like you should always pick up as much knowledge that, as you possibly can. So no matter what the problem is or what the predicament is, you have some sort of idea and you're not, not like, oh, what possibly could it be? I don't know. But, oh man, my voice is making all kinds of weird noises. That's, that's what I'm saying. If you can learn anything in this world, you need to go and learn as much as you possibly can. I don't care what it is, plumbing, electrical, um, some basic knowledge on a car, um, you know, anything. Something simple, you know what I mean? Just like they make things if you have a check engine light don't I mean yeah you could take it to a mechanic and stuff like that but um, I got this little thing it's a uh, as seen on TV product it actually does work though it's a uh, called a micro mechanic I saw it at Walmart for like ten dollars okay just simply plug it in your car, download an app, it scans and it tells you what the, uh, what code your car is throwing, which is what's causing your check engine light to come on. And then you can click it and it gives you an estimate on like how much it roughly costs to fix, if your car is safe to drive with that problem, um, a description of what the problem is, and stuff like that. 
I mean, it's like $10, so you don't really have to take your car anywhere to get it scanned. Buy one of these, you have a phone. I'm sure everyone in this world has a phone or tablet or like laptop or something of that sort. You plug it in, figure out what's wrong with your car. Get an estimate on what it usually runs to get it fixed. Then you can go to your mechanic and say, hey, this is what's wrong with my car. I need you to fix it. If you're not mechanically inclined and knowledgeable to fix it yourself. If you are, I, I suggest, if it's an easy job, I suggest fixing it yourself. You save yourself a lot of money, time, effort, or not really effort, but hassle. And uh, all that. But, um, I don't know, I don't really feel too good today. Just on my way to work, I feel like I figured I'd get on here and talk about something because it's just such. Excuse me. Um, it's just such a long drive. Kind of gets lonesome, but that's okay. I got you guys. So. Uh, talk to y'all. And y'all comment down below. Um, I appreciate it. But, uh, you know, it sucks because the weekend's coming up. And hopefully I got it off. I might have to work tomorrow. I don't want to. But I will. But, uh, I know I definitely need to. It sucks because the weekend's coming up. I'm sicker than a dog. I won't do anything. Um, try to get through all this nonsense. Yeah, I got a long night tonight. But, uh, H3. I think gamer for life. You comment on my video. Thanks, man. I appreciate everything you said. It means a lot to me. Especially since I don't have the best equipment or anything like that. I'm just kind of doing it as I do. You know, with like a phone, phone mount. It's not a very good phone mount. Not really. See, so yeah, like the first two videos I uploaded. I edited those using iMovie, but then when I went back and watched it, none of the editing was there, so you just got raw video. I don't know what happened. So. What is... What? Okay. This dude's got, like, all kinds of stuff on a... On a, uh on a dolly and he's like pulling that down the highway with up bags and so he's got like one backpack here one backpack here and then he's got a dolly that's stacked all the way to the top with stuff and he's just like pulling it down the highway more power to you dude it seemed like he was having some trouble Zombies. Never ate there. I'm not a big Italian guy. I'm more of a like steak, hamburger, ribs. Well, that's my kind of food. I can get down on that. Or some shrimp. Yeah. But I don't know, y'all. I'm just sicker than a dog. So I figured I'd get on here and uh, talk to y'all about, you know, what's going on, kind of stuff that's in my head again, but oh, excuse me. I highly suggest that 
no matter what it is, try and learn as much as you can. Even if it's a little bit of this and a little bit of that, just learn as much as you possibly can. It'll make your life a lot easier down the road. And you benefit from it. Your kids will benefit from it because you can always teach it on to your um, your children. <coughs> Sicker than a dog. But I'm I'm just got a little bit more driving to do. So uh, I think I'm gonna get off here. Talk to y'all later. If you like the video, comment down below. Hit that subscribe button. See y'all in the next one.